My name's Ryan Hartwick, and I am a network administrator with Maximum IT, and I am here to guide you through the mystical, magical land of Windows 7. And today, what we're going to be talking about in that mystical, magical land of wonderful, fuzzy goodness is setting up more than one monitor in a Windows 7 environment. Now, you might use more than one monitor because you have presentations that you use. You know, maybe you display a PowerPoint presentation, you want that duplicated on a larger video screen, like a secondary monitor, an LCD TV, or something like that. Or you may just use it for more desktop real estate. So you can have, you know, Microsoft Outlook open on one screen and then have Word open on the other and have like, you know, 20 or 50 different applications open on both monitors so you can impress your boss, which is what I usually do. I just just have a bunch of stuff open. Works every time. Jokes on him, right? Anyway, um, so let's talk about how we set up those monitors in Windows 7. So there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, if you're just in a situation where maybe you've got your laptop and you're plugging into a secondary monitor and you want to get stuff going on a really quick basis without having to tweak too many things out, have I got a trick for you? And it will cost $9.95. And my PayPal account information, I'm just kidding. What you would need to do is you just pull down the Windows key, uh, which looks like the little Windows symbol, okay? So you just hold that down with one hand, and then you hit the P button on your keyboard with the other hand. Or if you have incredibly long fingers, you can maybe do both at once. That's pretty hardcore, though. I don't know if you can handle that. Anyway. So as you can see, as soon as I do that, it brings up this little lovely little screen in front of me, which has disconnect projector, duplicate, extend, projector only. And as I continue to hold down the Windows key and then hit P multiple times, it will cycle through those options for me. Okay, just like so. Now if I choose the disconnect projector option, that means if I had something plugged in, it's still only going to show on my first screen, like my laptop screen. If I hit it again and go to duplicate, everything that I see on my laptop screen or my primary monitor will appear on the secondary monitor. If I use extend, then I will have effectively double the real estate. So I'll be able to put stuff on my primary monitor or my laptop screen that won't show up on the secondary screen, but I can drag stuff or have different applications open on both screens at the same time. Or I can choose projector only, and that means I'll only use the secondary screen I plugged in, not my primary or my laptop display. Okay, so that's one way to do it. The second way to uh, to get this thing set up is to right click somewhere on your desktop. Okay, once you do that, you'll see an, a lovely context menu open up. Isn't it? Isn't it pretty? Uh, you just click on screen resolution. Okay, whatever you do, don't click on gadgets. Whatever you do, never. Bad. Just kidding. I I have gadgets. You can see I have some gadgets up here. Anyway, screen resolution. Uh, and it will bring up another display window. Now I already have a secondary monitor set up, but let's say I didn't. When I plugged in my monitor, all I would have to do is click on detect. So once I plugged it in, I would only see, instead of seeing this one and two here, I would only see the first monitor. Once I clicked on detect, Windows would look through my available video ports and see if there was another monitor attached. When it did find that monitor, it would show up on my screen as so. Now I can choose the different options for each monitor by highlighting them. Okay, so as you can see, my first monitor is just the mobile PC display, so that's my desktop, uh, laptop monitor, I should say, and it's here's my resolution. Okay, it's at 1600 by 900 right now, but I can make that an ugly 800 by 600 if I wanted absurdly large icons and such. I could do that, but those are absurdly large, as I said before. And then if I wanted to, I could click on my secondary display, which you can see the displays there, HP. Okay, shout out to all my peeps at HP. What up? Okay. Uh, resolution, again, I can adjust that for the secondary monitor. Okay, So the, uh, by just clicking on these, I can adjust either monitor the way I'd like. And I have my orientation, which is whether or not I want it to be a landscape or portrait, which would, you know, basically, uh, it would put my, actually put my start button, kind of my start menu over here, and everything would be more of a portrait type display. Um, as portrait, yeah, so portrait makes the display portrait. Amazing, isn't it? Anyway, or I could choose a flipped version of that as well. So if I choose landscape flipped, everything would appear upside down. This is a really good trick to do on your parents or people that aren't so computer literate because it will frustrate them to absolutely no end. To no end. And uh, now you know how to torture them. And my job's done. My job is done. I should end the video right now, but I'm going to keep going. Okay? So that's that. Uh, after that, after you're done that uh, and you have those set up, 
you can choose the way you want your multiple displays to appear. So this is the same as hitting the Windows and the P button, the same type of thing. We can choose to extend the displays, duplicate them or mirror them, or I can actually show, you know, only show desktop only on one, so that means that only my primary monitor is going to have a desktop on them. Nothing will be displayed on two or vice versa. Okay. Now the other thing I can do from here that I can kind of tweak a little bit, you can see that I actually have my monitor, um, my secondary monitor here is a little bit raised. And uh, what this allows me to do is actually configure the positions of my monitors exactly like I have them in real life. So on my desk right now, my first monitor is kind of lower where my the second monitor is a bit wider and a little bit raised off the screen. So I want to make sure that I get that type of thing coming across. And the reason for that is showing um, my little handy dandy Microsoft Paint tool is here so that when I move a window let's say so I have an application open and I choose to move that over to my secondary monitor it will uh, look like it's coming across at the same level if I had this for instance instead like in Windows XP something like this or like this uh, which is kind of how XP used to do it by default if I were to move this across like that instead of it showing up uh, there would actually show up in the middle of the screen which is kind of how things are by default it would kind of show up like this which so it kind of jumps through the uh, the application jumps up a bit and it looks kind of disjointed this way we can actually adjust the position of the secondary monitor so that it mimics how we have it in real life and it makes more sense so when I wanna if I have this monitor on the right then when I drag stuff to the right of my screen uh, it will actually appear on the right hand side Okay. If I move this over to the left hand side like so, now I drag stuff over to the left because maybe my monitor is on the left side. Or maybe the monitor is on a wall mount or something above me. Now if I were to drag windows and objects up onto the top of my screen, they would actually appear uh, on, the, on the, the secondary display above me. Okay. So this is all used to mimic how things work kind of in real life with Windows 7. Okay, which is something we couldn't do before, which I really like a lot. Actually, it's one of the one of the good features that that Windows 7 has incorporated. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it on how you set up a secondary display. I hope you found this informative, and I'd like to thank you for watching.